Hello, my peepers. Welcome to Shaleen's Creativity Room. It is Monday, January 3rd. Happy New Year to all of you. So, as you can see, we have the new planners. We are ready. Okay, so... We do not have any birthdays today. And let's do wisdom quote for today. Wisdom quote says, Work out your own salvation. Do not depend on others. By Buddha. Work out... Your own salvation. Do not depend on others. Buddha. We did not have any birthdays over the weekend. And let's see word of the day. Word, word, word of the day. Word, 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 word of the day is neist. 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 N e o i s t. Neist. Noun means one who favors or employs new ideas, styles, techniques, etc. And the adjective means favoring new ideas, styles, techniques, etc. So there we go. Okay. There's that. And the new planner, which I forgot to take pictures and upload. I'm always forgetting to do that. Okay, so. Today's weather. is 21 degrees for the high considerable clouds this morning some decreasing clouds later in the day winds north northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour yep -er. it is cold out there the snow plow just went down the road so Cloudy, cold, what do we want? Cloudy or cold? I think we'll go with cold. Cold. Cold and... Use this. Yeah. Cold. 
there was a piece of piece of the ink pad stuck to it. So that's for today. It is cold. We also are doing the new cleaning papers. Okay, so today, yesterday, how'd we do? We vacuumed, we did the dishes, we did laundry, I cleaned off the TV stand in here, I watched a bunch of Floss 2 videos, I I did go in Gay Ron Tottenbag Zoom, um, I didn't go in till 4 o'clock, they were on from 9 to 5 and I didn't realize that they were on. And so I was in Kale. I watched Kale's live from three to four, and then I went into the Zoom. They are really nice. Rebecca didn't have a Zoom, and again, I watched Floss too. So that was for yesterday. Let's see for today. Today we are going to cross stitch on I Shall Wear Purple. The book today is Big Trouble in Little Greek Town by Kate Collins. I am 57% in it. I started it about a month ago. Today we need to vacuum. I already did. Um, I got to finish up laundry. I have a load in the dryer to come out and fold. And I have towels in the wash machine. I need to clean off this creativity table again. A section in my catch-all room. Play Animal Crossing. Change all the melts in the warmers, which I did. Restart my phone, which I did. My morning video, which I'm doing. Watch some Floss 2 videos and um, read or listen to the book. Thursday General Hospital, there was not one on Friday, and watch today's. 11 a.m., Crystal has her Zoom. And 9 p.m., Crystal has her live. So that's what's on the agenda today. So I do make the list again over here because you know that I'm trying to use up the pads of paper. Not only that, this is much easier. I can leave it right next to me, take it around the house with me, and this can stay in here. What I'm going to also do is when I am done at the end of the day, I will take this out. I will flip it upside down and we will use the back for tomorrow. So I'm not wasting paper. So there is that. Now I will show you my... project planner so my project planner has my whip go I already got to cross off number 19 because my goal was to work on a quarter of it and I did I finished the quarter so I'm done with that for the month So for January, I've already met a few goals. So my whip go is here. I all uh, gay Ron Totten bags. Um, they have a designer of the month, and it was Mirabilia and Nora Corbett. Stitching sisters, stitch a hundred stitches per sister. I have one sister, two sister in laws, so I did three hundred. Pop culture, every day we have to keep track of how many stitches or how many hours we stitch every day. Cross-stitch sales Facebook group, the theme is birds, the designer is lawn dog samplers. I will work on that. And for pop culture, their January fun facts, 500 stitches on something that represents winter, and I did giggles in the snow. So I'm already ahead of the game, and I love this. Isn't that pretty? 
Okay, Saturday, we got the new drop for Tale as Old as Time. I have not printed that yet. Okay. So, over the weekend, I watched Married with Stitches, Floss Tube number 46, Shady Trees, Stitchers, Lisa's Whip Parade, Rachel Ray, Floss Tube Extra, Whip Parade, Grace Note Stitchers, Floss Tube number 74, Jen's World of Stitches and DP, Stitch and Chat, Jen's World of Stitches and DP, Plan With Me, Sunshine Stitchers, Floss Tube 168, C Zook Stitch Floss Tube 110. Grace Notes Stitchers Floss Tube number 75. And my goal for Saturday and Sunday was to work on Giggles in the Snow, the boy. And I did that. So here's this week. So this week, the book being published. On the 4th is At the End of Everything by Marietta Nijkamp. I need to buy two skeins of floss. And my focus this week for cross-stitching, and I can take this off, is Mirabilia Giggles in the Snow, the boy. I already did that. So I can take that off. Um, I will be working on Sue Hillis. I shall wear purple. And then Friday. Whoops, wrong one. Friday, I get a cryptids drop. So I will work on that. Coloring this week. So, during my live stream, I will be working on Daydreams by Hannah Carlson. But during the day, I'm going to work on Scribbles 100 by Bennett Klein. That's the book. It's a PDF, I think. So I will be working on that during the day. And then um, daydreams on my live stream Tuesday. Diamond painting is always on Thursdays. I am working on Sally Seashell by Bella Safina. I did already start that. So, yeah. Let's see. Whip go. January event. I did that. So I'm doing pretty good. If I finish, I shall wear purple before the cryptids, which is definitely going to happen. I will... Hmm. I'm not sure yet. Maybe one day work on Fly Butterfly, one day work on Lawn Dog Sampler, and if I have time, one day work on Magic Study. So I might do that. But, yep, today we are doing the morning video. Using up washi tape, Simply Gilded. The little stickers are from Simply Gilded. So I am trying to use up supplies for 22 Stash Be Gone. I'm already doing really good because I'm working. Up. Holy crap, I got the hiccups. I'm hungry. Um, 22 Stash Be Gone is also for any of my stuff in the house so I am also trying to use up melts and candles and tea and all that good stuff so I'm including all of that okay so well I can't let you see the chart we are working on I shall wear purple 
We are working on page five, page four. Page five. We're working on chart page five. So that is my goal for the WIPCO board is page five, which will be all this area, and they're just words. So it's just back stitching. So I will put this here. So Friday, I went to Michael's because I needed 13 colors of floss. So we went there, Scott and I went there, and we picked up. Um, I needed to get stuff for New Year's Eve because it was New Year's Eve day. And it was just going to be him and I at the house, so... I did have to get stuff. I was going to make chicken wings in the air fryer and a bread bowl. So I also bought me a bag of shrimp and a bag of chips and dip. Because Scott won't eat the bread bowl. So I'm like, well, I'll get him the chips and dip. Oh, I hope I can stitch. Yeah, I can. So, we were at Walmart. It was very, very busy. But they were all out of chicken wings. And I didn't want to take a chance of getting them anywhere else. So, I ended up getting a bag of chicken drumsticks, which I thought were the little drumsticks like you get with the chicken wings. No, they were the big drumsticks, but Scott said that was fine. So we had the drumsticks. We got, they were all out of the bread bowls, so I just got a loaf of rye bread was half a loaf and what else did we get oh the chips and the dip yep. I bought the dill dip that's made for that stuff and then I bought the chipped beef tip because I like the chipped beef in the dill dip that's how I've always had it I still need to get those magnet things to hold the fabric. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you're cross stitchers, you know what I'm talking about. I still need to get them. <sighs> okay. There's that. I need to see I I'm such an idiot. Now I can't see that. <sighs> Too much. Oh. That's because it's supposed to be here. Don't listen to me. I don't know what the frick I'm doing. It's up here. Now I go and do this again. <laughs> There we go. Okay, we are ready. I've got my coffee. And we are ready for today's stitching. I do have to finish the P on the word shops and the P on the press. So I have to figure out what line that is, which was line six. 
So let me see. Line six says. 435. 435. So we get home, you know, we unload everything. I make up the, the bread bowl dip, put the chip beef in it and set the chicken drumsticks and the shrimp on the counter to thaw out. Does this use two strands or one? Oh, I guess I better read the instructions. Okay. Back stitching instructions. Okay. Thick lines on the verse are stitched with two. Thin lines are stitched with one. Okay. So, I think what I did, I used one strand and I would go over it twice for the thick ones because each letter has thick and thin. And it was a, I don't want to go back over it. I know what I'm doing. You don't need to know. <laughs> yeah, so got home, did that. Came in here, brought in my floss, bobbinated all them, pulled out giggles in the snow, put the floss I needed in that box, pulled out this one, and I needed two more colors that I never put on my list. I'm like, what the hell? Why did I do that? I forgot two freaking colors. Are you kidding me? And it's not like I can go right to town. It's like a 20, 25 minute drive to Michael's or Joanne's. Even if I'd have gone to Henrietta, it's going to take another about 25 minutes so I'm like great hopefully I don't need it today anyways and if I do I'm gonna have to pull it from another kit just so I can work on this so Scott went to Batavia Saturday afternoon well it was Saturday evening and I said can you pick me up the two skeins of floss? He told me no. He always picks up whatever I need, but he told me no. Unreal. He was in the same town, but he would have had to go on the other end of town, which might be why he said no, but I'm like, are you serious? He goes, we were just there yesterday. Fine. Like, he never forgets anything at the stores. So I still got to get the two strand, two skeins of floss and we've been getting snow. We had snow advisory from Saturday night to Sunday evening. And I, and as I was vacuuming this morning, the plow already went by. So yeah.
I might still have to adjust this Q snap. I'm over too far. Cause I need to, yeah, I need to stitch over here. I'm over too far. I don't know why I did that. I don't know, people. Don't know. So New Year's Eve was nice. I did watch some of Dick Clark's New Year's Eve. Um, it's not the same without him, and I'm not a big fan of Ryan Seacrest. I was in Marissa's Zoom. She had a Zoom for New Year's Eve. So I was in there. We counted down my time, the Eastern Standard Time, for the ball to drop, and then others were waiting for their time zone so then I left there went and did a few other things online before I went to bed okay so I can't believe how dirty this fabric is. I am always one to constantly wash my hands when I cross stitch. So for it to get oils from my hands on here is kind of hard for me to believe. So I will have to wash this gently by hand. Okay, there's that. New Year's Day got up. Clean. No, I didn't clean. I was hurting Saturday. I didn't get anything done. Just cross stitched. Okay, I need to reposition this. I don't know why, what I was thinking when I did this. Okay. I need to bring this over and down. Over and down. That's much, much better. Much better. So, yeah, I, um, what did I do? I watched the Rose Parade, and right, I was up early, so before the parade even started, I undecorated the house and the Christmas tree. Now, I only decorated the one room this year, or la I should say last year, last year. 2021. I did not have the energy when I was decorating the house to do the rest of the house. And I'm really wanting some new stuff because I've had all of my stuff for years. So I want new stuff, but I didn't have the money the past year to buy new stuff. Okay. I don't even know if I'm going to put on the grime guard. It's already dirty. Look at that. Yuck. Okay, and we are doing this line, which us, we are on line seven, which says, 
I'm using the I'm using the crescent colors. Spinach. Spinach. No other special instructions. So, spinach it is. So, yesterday I woke up, was in a feeling much better, cleaned up the kitchen, did the all the dishes from dirty in them Friday night oh and Saturday I also did a turkey dinner so January 1st I always watch the Rose Bowl parade while undecorating the tree in the house and then I always cook a turkey dinner well, because of carbs and diabetes, I told Scott he had one choice of carb. We either buy potatoes or we buy stuffing. He wanted stuffing. Now, I have never, ever made homemade stuffing, so mine is always stovetop. But I am determined this year to learn how to make different kinds of stuffing, but he is a really picky eater. So if I found recipes he's probably not going to eat them because he likes stovetop now me I like trying different things and then yesterday just um took the tree out because he wanted to wait till yesterday to take the tree out because he knew it was going to be snowing and the tree is much easier to drag in the snow we have a we have woods out back and so he always takes he always puts our Christmas trees in the woods out in the back the um it's good for the environment and the animals and all that. So that's what we do. So the tree went out yesterday. And then Scott, he always gets the broom and the dustpan. And he gets as many of the needles as possible that way. Before using the vacuum cleaner. Because a lot of times it gets clogged up in the vacuum cleaner. So he's like... He went and did that, and he said there really weren't hardly any needles that fell off the tree when he took it out. So he said it didn't take much. So when he was done, I vacuumed the whole house. And I don't, I didn't see hardly any needles left on the floor. You know how they say you've got needles in your carpet until the next year? I don't know. I don't usually have that issue. And it depends on the tree. Like I said, there wasn't hardly any needles that fell off the tree when he dragged it out of the house. I don't think this is going to take me long. So the giggles in the snow took me two, two days. I pulled it out at 12.01 after the ball dropped so that it counted for January 1st. It was number 19 on my WIPCO board. So two days. It was 11 and a half hours that I stitched on it. I stitched on it more than that because I got one section done 
and realized that I was off, so I had to frog. And I don't use the timer when I frog or when I put the stitches that were that I had to frog. I don't count that when I put them back in. So I did have in more hours. I just don't count that. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right to count something that I already did. It may be wrong, but that's just me. I hear the plow again. Dylan will be here with the boys in about 45 minutes. Yes, I was up early. So I went to bed at, it was 10.06 when I got into bed last night. And I tossed and turned for an hour. Then I came back in here and thought, well, let me get my lists made for today and get that set up. I got back into bed and I didn't fall back to sleep. I didn't fall asleep till like 1.30. And I let the dog out. So she won't wake me up. Well, Scott's alarm goes off at like quarter after four. And she's prancing and carrying on that she has to go potty really bad. So he hits the snooze and instead of getting up to let her out, because he's got to get up anyways, I had to get up and let her out. Well, now I can't fall back to sleep. So I let her out, went back into bed, tossed and turned for 15 minutes, and I'm like, screw this, I'm never going to get back to sleep. So I have been up since quarter after four. So, yeah. Three hours sleep. I don't know how well I'm going to function today. Is this right? Oh, yep. I have a feeling that the nap is in the future. So I'm like, I got to take a shower. Well, the boys will get here. And then I see I'm usually vacuuming right before the boys get here. But I was up early, so the vacuum is done, the melts are done in the warmers. Um, I restarted my phone. I'm making this video. It is 6.08 a.m. So I can go have breakfast before the boys even get here. And I can watch Thursday's General Hospital and play Animal Crossing while they are here. Well, I can start it before they get here and be almost done when they get here. And then once they're on the bus, because this video will already be done, I can just jump in the shower. So I always take my shower when the, after they get on the bus. But I am looking so forward to this year it is going to be good as far as my crafts go i do need to make Um, a wheel on 
on my wheel app for all my colored pencils because they're the next thing that I need to get on the wheel so I know what pencils I'm going to be using to tomorrow for my live stream. So every Tuesday will be a different set of pencils unless I'm finishing um, the pictures I already started. If I have to finish pictures like next Tuesday, I'll finish up using those pencils. Yep, got to use up what I have, not use up. But you know what I mean. And they may not replace pencils. Like, I might just keep my Prismas, my Polychromos, Luminance. You know, those kind of pencils. But the budget friendly, I probably won't, re I probably won't replace. Just because I have so many. Okay, now I can do the letter C. Ha, 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 okay. See how easy the letters go on there? Yep. Yep, yep. Thick. So that's it for today. What are your plans for today? Are you crafting? Are you doing 22 Stash Be Gone? And like I said, I'm doing that for all forms of things in my life. Candles, melts, tea, planner stuff, like the stickers. Yep. Everything. Trying to get a lot of my whips done. And press. Okay, so this page ends about here. So I, where does it? Okay, so. So it goes from here to here. So this section is what I'm working on. Okay, where am I? Still working on the C. get the C done and then I will say goodbye. I'm going to go have breakfast. Like I said, I got to watch Thursday's General Hospital. I got to finish the book. That's another thing with the 22 Stash Be Gone. I want to read a lot of the physical books that are on my bookshelves. Okay. Well, that's it for today. Well, this was a long one this morning. I don't usually do them this long. I didn't pay attention to the time. I'm just 
thread in the needle. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I hope that you all have a fantastic day. And I will see you all again tomorrow morning. Love you guys. Bye-bye.